It is Wednesday morning. We're at Bayview, and this little guy here was presented for a mandibular symphysial fracture, and and it's uh, at least two weeks old. And I just got some really close shots and got a good look at it a minute ago. I actually just even grown up about a month's worth of growth. So <laughs> none of the physiology is adding up, but at the same time, this guy deserves a chance to fix it. So what we're going to do, hopefully tomorrow or the next few days, we'll uh, freshen up those edges, wire that uh, that lower beak back together again where it's supposed to be. And then uh, once that's done, hopefully we'll get some decent growth. But what bothers me is the skin is completely healed between there. And there'll be a, ow, there'll be a small hole. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> right, so we're going to sedate them, freshen up that granulation tissue, put that beak together, um, drill a hole through the two pieces of beak, um, put a wire through, and wire them back together again, just like you would your average uh, mandibular symphysis fracture in a, in a mammal. Um, <laughs> Vamber is always taking pictures <laughs> and documenting stuff. It's like the lovely Vamber. Hello. Her name's Joey Amber. But... <laughs> I'm just picking oh, up today. Got Amber from. She is our because uh, Vanna Amber oh, Amber got it. Okay, got all right, it, got it. Because <laughs> I did use the Vanna reference first. All right, put these in perspective. We have our Dremel tool. This is an oral surgery, so it's not really sterile. But the instruments it will be using have been sterilized, except for the Dremel. Um, these guys here have been soaked, uh, so we have something to grind down the, the beak with. We have that sharp little piece there that may be used to freshen up the tissue where the old scar tissue is. That there is a diamond cutting burr to make sure that any leftover or if we need to trim away some of the pin stuff it'll be done nice and done. Because this is so small we are going to use uh, 22 gauge needles as our bone drill. Okay it turns out they come out sterile, they're sharp, they're pointed and they can actually eat their way through the bone much much faster and with a smaller hole than most uh, most orthopedic drills offer. Matter of fact, they just don't make orthopedic drills for birds, so we have to use um, something like this in the, in the meantime. Um, there's our sterile wire going through. Uh, I even pulled out one, one of my micro wire twisters and needle holders, and there's the camera, five minute epoxy if we need it. So we've got lots of stuff um, over here. Uh, spare pin pack for exotics, and oops, let's put this around the other way. If it turns out we're in, we get in there, we find out that we need to use a small plate. This is a maxil maxillofacial plate pack that was once used in human medicine that I have adapted for use in surgery for, for my turtles. I just call this a turtle plating pack. We have tons of things to grind metal and cut with if we need to. And this has turned into my turtle or spikes foot making kit. So we can melt plastics, ABS and otherwise. Thanks to a friend of mine, um, we have two 3D printing pens. Um, and all the equipment that we need there, and that's everything. Oh, and um, we can't forget the boom box for the music that you will be hearing in the background. Today's choices will be George Mason, and only George Mason, because he's one of the only people who's giving permission to use his music on the videos, and YouTube, and tired of them bitching about it. All right, so, <laughs> with that in mind, we're gonna get started in a second now. Okay. okay. Um, not knowing how this is gonna turn out, we're gonna do our best to make sure this comes out rosy. But uh, whenever you sedate birds, it's always a scary thing for us. Um, and for the bird, obviously. Anyway, we're going to gas this guy down. Uh, we have two masks there available. A larger one, get him in initially. And then a smaller one, which Vanna here is showing off. Um, as the, the, you would be Vamber. Um, <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? All right. I need you to be strong today and want to live really hard, okay? Because we're going to have to go in and fix your jaw. And I need you to help me. I need you to be a good birdie. Okay? Okay? Be a good birdie. I'm gonna make you eat again. You can eat solid foods. Okay. Although I'm not gonna tell mom to get rid of your applesauce. Alright. Just so you know. I'm on your side.
There's our bunny. About 15, 20 minutes post-op. Doing a whole lot better. Oh, I know. This stuff tastes nasty. Bloody gross. Bloody gross. Yeah, bloody gross.